Welcome to the introduction to looping. Very general, looping is for repeating parts of the workflow automatically. One possibility is that you want to read a list of files. This list of files will be generated using the list files node and afterwards you are looping over the list of files and read one file in each loop iteration. The loop always starts with a loop start node. It's always the first node in your loop. After the loop start node, there is the body of your loop. And then the loop is closed with the loop end node. Let's go through this progress step by step. The first node is the loop start node. It's responsible for increasing a counter in which iteration you are currently in and for sending out the data to the loop body. The loop body is then responsible for executing sub-workflow steps. After those are executed, we are going to the loop end node and checking if our end condition is fulfilled. If this is not the case, we are going back to the loop start and increase our counter in the loop start node again sending out data, going to the loop body and executing our sub-workflow steps. If at the end the loop end fulfills our end condition, we are finishing our loop, collecting the information or the data from the different iterations and going to the next steps in our workflow. So it is important that each of your loop contains of a loop start and a loop end node which are responsible for executing the loop body, the sub-workflow steps. This is an example for a simple workflow. It starts with the counting loop start. The string manipulation is our loop body. The insight is repeated n times until an end condition is met. In this case, the end condition are the n times and after n iterations, this loop will stop. So to repeat, it is really important to have a loop start and a loop end node. Here you see a list of different loop start nodes. The loop start node initiates the loop. One example is the chunk loop start node. The chunk loop start node sends out a subset of your data in each iteration. Another type of subset looper is a group loop start. It sends out subsets of your data, but based on information which is already contained in your data. A very different type of looping is the recursive looping. Recursive loops are the only loops which are able to send back data achieved inside the loop body from the loop end node to the recursive loop start node. Similar to the list of loop starts, we also have a set of different loop end nodes. The most basic loop end nodes collect the data row-wise. The loop end column append, on the other hand, collects the data column-wise. A different kind of loop is the parameter loop. Here you see the parameter optimization loop end. Using the parameter loop, you can optimize parameters of various data mining processes. So please keep in mind that if you are constructing a loop, you always need a loop start and a loop end node. 